So hello, today I'm going to talk about the component classes, user-defined component classes, how you can define the component in particular class and then that class, you can define the rule for that class and for example, when you are pouring the polygon, then the connection with the polygon of the pads, it will be in a uh, solid form. So that I will show you. So as you know that this is my series voltage regulator uh, this t1 diode is for reverse polarity protection and q1 is the uh, transistor which is connected in series with the load and which is controlling the voltage across the load so which is regulating actually the voltage across the load so that's why it's a series voltage regulator so which means that most of the current is flowing through d1 and q1 so it needs uh, cooling on your pcb and that we can do by providing the copper so how we can do that that we can do through the uh, polygon so as you can see that this is uh, anode and this pin number two is cathode so let me pour here a polygon for that there are two three ways uh, how you can pour the polygon uh, either you can go to the place here and then you can here pour the polygon or what you can do you can right click and then place choose place and then from there you can select pour polygon and the third way is you have to just click on the uh, on your keyboard p and then from there you can choose the polygon pour so let me choose that here and you have to just click anywhere wherever you want and then uh, when you drag your mouse then this uh, polygon pore lines will also drag automatically left or right as you wish so right side the, and with the space bar you can change the angle like this from there just drag it till uh, till here and then here and then when you have when you wanted to finish then just double click and then escape that's how it looks like for this polygon you have to you have to go to the you have to right click and then choose polygon for uh, polygon actions and in polygon actions you can choose this uh, report selected so the first thing is that uh, you have to open the properties of this polygon and how you can open the properties you have um, you have here at the bottom panel and in that panel you can select the properties and so it will open either from here or you can also go to the view and in the view toolbar then there is panel and then there you can select the in panels you can select the properties so <clears throat> property will open then you have to open the properties so here on the right side as you can see that there are some tabs on which it's written report self uh, assign net bring to front send to back and modify so either you can assign this polygon net from this actions tab which is called assign net you have to cho choose that and then you can see that this uh, assign net is selected and then <coughs> on your uh, pcb uh, whichever net you wanted to assign to this polygon you have to just click on that so this is the net which i wanted to assign to the polygon so i will just click here and so when you will select this so here you can see that the net name or here uh, the net information and then uh, that is one of the way so let me go back so as you can see that there is no name for the net second method is that I, you can uh, click here which is also called assign net and then again you can choose the net you want for example let me choose the wrong net for example if, uh, let me choose this one 12 volt so as you can see that in the net information the polygon uh, net is plus 12 volt underscore bat so that we do not want so again you have to click here you will go here and then choose the correct net so now it's changed so there are these two ways uh, how you can assign the net to the polygon then here in the layer stack you can choose the layer 
on which layer you want the polygon then these are the three formats for the polygon either solid just let me report this polygon so that's how it looks like so it's a solid for example if you will choose this one then that's then again you have to go and here report so that's how it looks like in hatch and none is like this so as per your application you can choose but normally standard is solid then again here you have to go and pour what you have to choose you have to choose here pour over all same net objects so that's what you have to choose and then here remove the dead copper and then again you have to repour the polygon yeah so that's how that's how it looks so here i already added the uh, design class and uh, i mean in design classes and in uh, rule uh, i define these classes so that's why you can see that this pad is merged in this polygon but let me remove this uh, classes and we will do uh, redo it so as you can see here this class which is called direct which i integrated so let me remove this class so i deleted that and then let me just report the polygon so here as you can see that the pad of d1 cathode pad i mean of d1 is not merged in the polygon so it's connected through this uh, four uh, tracks but we do not want that we wanted to merge this in the in the in the polygon so for that what you have to do you have to go to the design then in the design you have to choose the classes and in classes then you have to go to the pad class because this is a pad so that's why and then here you have to add the class which is direct because we want the pad directly merged in the polygon that's why i call it direct and then on the right side you have to choose the component which you wanted to put in this uh, class for example you can also choose uh, you can select the select all the components but here at the moment i don't need all those things uh, all the component i just need only a diode one and uh, it's two pads so i will just bring it to the uh, pad direct classes say okay and then we will report this and see whether it's working or not so as you can see that it's not working why because you have to go to the design and in rules you have to define this rule so here as you can see that uh, there are different kind of rules so here you have to go to the plane and in the plane you have this polygon connect style and here you can see that how the po polygon is connected so let me add here one more rule we, let's call it name it like uh, polygon connect direct and choose the simple from here and then we have to put here the query so go here to the where the first object matches where it's written all and then choose custom query so that's how it looks like and then we have to put here the query it's not very difficult mm, yeah so what what we want we want this pad when there is a, a polygon then this polygon should uh, merge the pad directly into this polygon and not through the track so uh, for that the query is in pad class and then what we want and the name of that class was uh, direct so as you can see that as soon as you write here it will find the class and here you have to choose here direct connect here apply okay so it will take some time to apply and then again you have to report this polygon and that's how it looks like so yeah that's that's how you can do that and for example if it's st still it's not working then what you have to do you have to go to the project project options uh, you have this uh, class generation 
generate user defined classes in user defined classes you have to select this generate component classes then let me take the this is uh, regarding the pad then let me give you one more example for the via let me place the via here so i just pick up via for cooling and here i placed so some vias let me extend this so and report so that's how it looks like so as you can see that it it has uh, this polygon has connected to the to the pad it merged the pad uh, directly but the vias are connected again connected through this uh, track and that's what we do not want so again what we have to do you, we have to go into the design rules in that design rule what we have to do add via so let's add it or and for via is via is the query so that's what you have to write here and apply okay and then report you have to report this then as you can see that it has uh, the vias are completely merged in the polygon that's how you can do that so i hope that this video is useful for you and if you like my content then please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions then please write in the comment thank you very much have a nice day